Welcome back to another episode. Today, I have the privilege of hosting the outstanding Chris Mahalik. He is the chief executive officer at Virgin Pulse, responsible for leading the company's global growth strategy and helping clients unlock value for their healthcare investments to drive better health outcomes. Before joining Virgin Pulse, Chris served as CEO of Alight Solutions, uh, a $2.3 billion player in the benefits, payroll, and cloud solution, solution space. He is uh, an expert in the field and super excited to have him here on the podcast with us. Chris, thanks for joining. Thanks, Saul. I'm looking forward to our conversation. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. It's my pleasure. And and Chris, to kick things off, obviously, a lot of exciting things happening at Virgin Pulse right now. Um, before we dive into those, tell us a little bit about you. What is it that inspires your work in healthcare? Yeah, absolutely. I have been in the human capital and health space for the better part of my career uh, in both the professional services consulting space, uh, as well as running a tech-enabled service, a professional service, and now a SaaS-based orient- oriented platform. Uh, and the thing that really excites me ab- uh, about it is, particularly at Virgin Pulse, we're making a difference in people's lives every day. Our, our core mission statement, the purpose behind our company is to change lives for good. Uh, and I have found that to be one of the most satisfying things from a leadership perspective is to know that the work that we're doing is actually in, impacting individual lives. Uh, it's really core to our culture as well. And our people uh, really resonate with that as our mission. Uh, and that's been a fun, uh, a fun thing to be a part of as a leader and as the CEO of this company. So let's zoom into it. What does the company and organization do to add value to the healthcare ecosystem? Yeah, I think Virgin Pulse, uh, I think what they do that is unique is they're powering the preventative healthcare opportunity for uh, an, a, a large set of self-insured employers. So we're currently, we currently have access to 17 million members who can join our platform and really focus on their preventative care how they navigate episodic care and how they deal with chronic care conditions that they're facing. We're doing all that through technology, but also through some concierge capability as well. We have 200 coaches that will coach people through their care conditions and help them to navigate the care ecosystem more effectively. We've got digital capabilities to help people make better selections around higher quality and lower cost providers. Uh, and then we're pushing out content and incentives to help help people to focus really on the preventative care that's so necessary. I think the really unique thing about Virgin Pulse, I think there are a lot of companies in the healthcare ecosystem that want to focus on you once you're sick. Uh, and the unique thing about us is we're focusing on you whether you're sick or you're not sick. We care about helping you to to, to manage your health care uh, before you have an incident of care and all the way through that incident of care. And I think that's a significant way that we differentiate ourselves uh, and add more value in terms of the way we serve our clients. A lot of very valuable things from the chronic care management to the, to the access of, of, of the appropriate uh, low-cost, high-quality care. Certainly a lot of ways you guys are, are adding value uh, to, to payers and members and employers, it sounds like. What are you guys doing that's different or better that, that, than what's already out there? And maybe this is a good opportunity, Chris, for you to, to maybe talk to us a little bit about some of the uh, uh, opportunities you're looking at with, with uh, the recent announcement of, uh, of uh, uh, the merger of uh, uh, Health Comp. Yeah, absolutely. I think what sort of distinguishes us is several years ago, we created something we call home base for health. We said we want to be the first place people go, the digital front door for people with respect to the way they think about how they manage their overall health care. Uh, and we've been building out that digital framework and experience over the last several years. We started with well-being, the ability to push content, incentives, journeys, things that help people to focus on key aspects of their preventative care. We then added some chronic care capability, the ability to help people manage diabetes or their hypertension. Uh, we added coaches to that, uh, recognizing that healthcare, you know, is, is sometimes more hand-to-hand combat than it is just digital. And we want to help people with the right kind of concierge level coaching that we think is necessary. And then most recently, we had added what we call digital navigation, the ability to help people select better doctors. Uh, the right facilities that are in their plan and help them control their cost of care as well as their quality of care. 
So we've been building out this capability set that we call Home Base for Health over the last several years, and it's providing a digital foundation or you know ground zero for people who want to manage their healthcare within an employer environment. The, the neat thing is, uh, as you as you have heard uh, a few weeks ago, we announced that we're going to merge with another company called HealthComp, and we're very excited about putting the capabilities of HealthComp together with the capabilities of Virgin Pulse. And here's why. HealthCop is the largest independent third-party administrator. They're the phone number on the card for almost a million participants. Uh, and with the HealthCop merger, we're going to have greater line of sight to every individual member from the time they sign up for their plan, to every claim that has to be processed, to every EOB, to their well-being, to their chronic condition management, et cetera. And we're going to knit that entire experience together with a digital capability set. And I think that's very unique in the marketplace today. I think very few SaaS-based companies, uh, true SaaS-based companies like Virgin Pulse, have endeavored to get into the true health plan arena, which is a a bit more administrative and a bit more uh, service-oriented. And I think our ability to bring digital capacity and capability into the health plan marketplace is going to be a significant change, a disruption within the overall health plan environment. Yeah, congratulations on on that, Chris. Uh, certainly sounds like a very strategic move, and 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 really one that that could benefit both of the companies in the way that you 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 help your your end customer. You know, uh, right now the the opportunity to to do things more efficiently uh, is greater than ever. And if you could think of maybe one thing as you you guys have been scaling the company, growing it. What's one of the things that that's been sort of like a curveball or, or or a setback that that you've gained key learnings from? I don't think of many setbacks. I'm more of a glasses half full person in general, so uh, I don't really dwell on on setbacks. I think the the thing I recognize is the complexity of the healthcare environment, um, and and everybody would say it. Fifty uh, percent of uh, of of self insured employer members would say they don't know how to navigate the healthcare system. They don't feel confident. Uh, about their ability to do that well. And I, I think that always presents itself as a challenge to us in terms of figuring out what is the digital capability or service capability that has to be deployed to help the individual member make a better decision. I often say, you know, it, it, it's funny with healthcare in a self-insured employer environment in particular, because you've got hundreds or even thousands of employees making decisions every day about a high cost item that they're consuming that gets paid for by the employer. And I think it's really important to help those people make better decisions about about their health care, better decisions about, uh, you know, again, the providers they go to, better decisions about what the right care pathway is so that they're choosing the most cost effective and highest efficacy care pathway, better decisions about their preventative health care, how to stay healthy and be healthy and have a healthy lifestyle. So, you know, for me, uh, it, a lot of it is if you take a member centric approach to it, you can help solve some of the most complex as- aspects of how individual members consume healthcare effectively. And I, I think that's one of the biggest challenges in healthcare right now. This opportunity that you guys have at hand here really does position you guys to, to be more upstream in, 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 the, in the process and, and, and really kind of be able to capture uh, opportunities before, you know, as, as, a, as a TPA, you have a, a greater opportunity to get in front of the employers and help them with some of the things that you guys do so well. I actually used to use you guys um, back when I, I, was, I was working with an employer. Uh, man, I loved the platform. You know, it was so easy to use. I remember just kind of the rewards and, and the gamification that really did lead to my, my family being healthier. So really cool to see the, the strides you guys are taking here. Look, we're 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 getting here to the end of the of the interview, Chris. Uh, if you had to point to one healthcare trend or technology that you think is going to change healthcare as we know it, what what would you say it is? Putting the member at the center of the experience really matters, uh, and I find that to, in today's healthcare environment, there just is not enough healthcare acumen in the membership, uh, in, in members in general. And I think bringing, you know, greater capability, digital and concierge capability, it's high tech and high touch, 
bringing that together to me is the way to solve the problem. And then the other thing I would say is, as a part of that, consolidation is also really necessary. We've created an enormous amount of complexity in the healthcare ecosystem, uh, in the self-insured employer ecosystem as well. There are a number of point solutions. One of the things that we've been trying to do is knit together other solutions and put them on our partner ecosystem so we can create greater accessibility. I think recognizing that we're not the be-all, end-all answer for every problem, uh, and there's there's no amount of engineering and development that can be done on a digital platform to make you, you know, the be-all, end-all. We're leveraging other capabilities and embedding them into our platform to give people better access to a broader array of services based on their individual need and, and what's most important for them in their family's health care. And I think that that's an important way to solve some of the most complex aspects of the healthcare ecosystem. Look, um, this has been uh, an incredible opportunity to connect with you, to share the, the work that you guys are doing to help improve health care for each member out there. If you, if you had to leave the listeners with a closing thought, what would you leave them with? And what's the best place for them to reach out and learn more about the work you guys do? Yeah, I, maybe the one topic we didn't touch on, Saul, and maybe it's a good place to land. Uh, we talk a lot about healthcare, and in today, today's world, that means mental health care as well as physical health care. Uh, and I think today, the mental health care crisis, uh, from anxiety to depression to loneliness, which has been declared an ep- epidemic in the U.S. today, those issues are fundamentally affecting the employer uh, and the employer environment. I I think we need to take a broader aperture to what it means to really solve the healthcare problem uh, from not just physical health, but also to mental health, which which we have found is an underlying condition or an underlying comorbidity with so many other physical issues that people are wrestling with. Uh, And so the, the thing I would say is, it's important that whoever your healthcare providers are, that they're looking at the holistic needs of the employee base and trying to figure out how do we solve both the mental health issues as well as physical health issues, and to some extent, financial health issues that people are facing, because those things all swirl together to enable people to, you know, really live uh, a better life, a, a, a more, you know, fulsome well-being uh, for them and their families. You know, I think for for a while, you know, after we, I don't want to say we we got over COVID, but we we've managed it. Uh, we're now in a, in a, in a point where we do have that hangover, and there's a lot of mental health issues happening in our communities that need attention. Sounds like this is another area that you guys are able to address, and and so uh, just want to c- congratulate you and and the team over there for for the for really the breadth of of. Of uh, of entry points that that uh, that patients and their families could could enter the portal with uh, to really benefit them them in the mo- in the best way possible. Uh, I can't thank you enough for for spending uh, the time that you have with us, Chris. We look forward to seeing the moves that you guys do in the market. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Uh, if you want more information about Virgin Pulse, come to our website. Find us on LinkedIn. Uh, and, you know, really, really happy to have, have had this conversation. Thanks for being with us.